Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make keto bagels. And there's no fat head dough in this recipe or cheese. They're very easy to make and they taste similar and have a similar texture to an actual bagel. Let's get started. Like I said, we're gonna be making keto bagels without using fat head dough. There's no cheese in this recipe and they really taste like a bagel. You can spread cream cheese on them, you can toast them, you can even make sandwiches out of them if you are really into breakfast sandwiches or lunch sandwiches. In fact, I'm gonna prep up some breakfast sandwiches today with these keto bagels and the help of my sponsor of today's video, which is Crowd Cow. Crowd Cow is a marketplace for high quality meats that creates a meaningful connection between the farmer and the customer. So people can know and appreciate exactly where their food comes from. How it works is that you get to build your own box. You get to explore their selection of high quality beef, pork, chicken, seafood, and so much more. Everything is vacuum sealed, shipped at the peak of freshness, and delivered right to your door. Everything I picked out from Crowd Cow, I wanted because I wanted to prep up a lot of these breakfast bagel sandwiches. So I got preformed sausage patties from Pedersen Farms. I got bacon from them too. This is sugar-free bacon. And I even picked up some salmon. They sell salmon spread there too, which would be perfect over a bagel, especially if you like salmon with your bagel. They have a huge selection of high quality meats. All of them are antibiotic free, there's no hormones, and you can choose from pasture raised or grass fed as well. If you guys are interested in getting great tasting high quality meats from Crowd Cow, then just click on my link below. New members can get $100 off free meat plus free shipping if you sign up. I'll have that link in the description box below for you. You can become a new member for free and get 5% off everything you put in your box. This is a limited offer, so make sure you act fast. Now let's make some bagels. To get started, we're gonna start with a large mixing bowl and add in our dry ingredients. You're gonna need one cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of unflavored low carb protein powder. I'll have my favorite listed down below in the description box. And then to give these bagels like that chewy sort of texture, I'm gonna add in some inulin powder. So this is two tablespoons of inulin powder. If you don't wanna use inulin powder because you don't wanna just go out and get another ingredient or maybe it causes digestive problems because I mean, inulin powder is a prebiotic. It's good for you, but sometimes it can upset some people's stomachs. Um, so if you don't wanna use that, then just just go with 100% almond flour. Use a one and a half cups of almond flour for this recipe and completely omit the inulin powder. I also experimented with adding in lupin flour in this recipe. So if you're curious and want to try that, I'll have that listed down below in the description box. You'll also need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of xanthan gum, one teaspoon of brown sugar-free sweetener. You can use whatever sugar-free sweetener you want. I'm using the golden one. Just two reasons why. Well, one, they use it in regular bagel recipes, but also it helps give our bagels that nice brown crust on the top. Otherwise, they're kind of pale looking. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk that together until it's combined, and then we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. For our wet ingredients, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of melted butter. and two tablespoons of hot water. Mix this together until it's combined, and now it's time to form our bagel. So we're gonna use these with our hands, and this dough is sticky, so I recommend just wetting your hands with some water. You might have to re-wet them from time to time to keep the dough from sticking to them. You could even use like olive oil or spray some cooking spray on there. It'll just keep things from sticking to your hands and keep them cleaner. So grab a ball of dough. I think this recipe makes around four bagels, and this is normal size bagels too, and roll it in the palm of your hand, put it on a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper and then we're going to form the hole in the middle I just wet my finger and then form a circle in there to make the hole make sure you make your hole kind of wider because as these bake they're gonna spread a little bit and kind of puff up a bit so if you're one that absolutely loves to have a hole in their bagel then make sure that you make that hole really wide And then we're gonna bake these in a 375 degree oven for around 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer if you like them pretty um, crunchy on the on, with the crust side. Take them out of the oven, let them cool, and 
now you're done. And we can make our breakfast sandwiches. Like I said, I'm gonna be using some of those pre-made sausage patties from Pedersen Farms, along with their sugar-free bacon. These were both delicious. And then another one, I'm gonna make up some salmon bagels with that salmon spread. Cream cheese works beautiful on this too. It's really good, it spreads really well. You could even toast these in your toaster oven or a toaster as well. You could spread some butter down and then put them on a skillet and toast them up that way too. It's super good, super buttery. This is a great recipe to meal prep. You can make these for breakfast. You got a breakfast for four days out of the week at least, or just make them and freeze them if you want to, so you can pull them out and have them whenever you need to. Once again, thank you Crowd Cow for helping me make these delicious breakfast bagel sandwiches. Remember, I'll have that link down below in the description box if you guys are interested in trying them.